Hello, boys and girls, and welcome back to Let's Play Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Knuckles. I'm your host, Revigilance, and here we go. Well, I guess we can walk on the lava now. It's hardened. It would be still pretty hot, though, I imagine. The Hidden Palace Zone! Whoa! I want that ring. Don't need it, but I want it. Oh, cool. What's that mural? Knuckles, what are you doing? That mural, though, it's must be some sort of prophecy. Knuckles, get out of my way. I gotta take down Robotnik. This fight's actually way easier than I'm making it out to be. I'm just dragging it out a little bit. Make it seem a bit more... interesting. Get back here, Knuckles! Whoa! It's this place. Robotnik! Get off there, Knuckles! He's gonna... Ah. See, Knuckles? Robotnik's the villain. He's the enemy. Ah, oh, thank you. Are you gonna be alright, Knuckles? Well, I did just beat you up, but... Sky Sanctuary Zone. Oh no, it's the Death Egg. What are all those things coming out of it? Oh, thank you, Knuckles. Does this mean we're allies now? Well, I guess it was all just a big misunderstanding. You see, Knuckles is the guardian of the Chaos Emeralds. And apparently the story is... Robotnik uh, convinced Knuckles that Sonic was stealing the the emeralds so that Knuckles would uh, put all his focus into stopping Sonic and then when Knuckles back was turned he would Robotnik would take all the emeralds but now Knuckles knows the truth so Knuckles is not a bad guy he was just misunderstood Hey, it's, it's Metal Sonic, or Mecha Sonic, or one of those mechanical Sonic entities. Apparently there's several of them. It's different than the one in Sonic 2. And easier than the one in Sonic 2, I might add. I wonder why he was 
in Robotnik's thing. Hey! Ah! Well, at least I got a bubble out of the deal. Well, a short-lived bubble. And a short-lived life. That was just embarrassing. Come on! I am being very sloppy here, and I gotta start the level over, too. Needs it. I guess those uh, robotic bots, Nicks, were the things that came out of the death egg. Uh, we gotta fight this again. At least it's easy. Either it would be really fun to go on those teleporter things, or it would hurt. I'm not sure which. Actually, that's that's the impression I get with any teleportation. Either it would be really fun, or really painful. I'm trying to go on top of that. I know you can. There we go. Might as well get the rings. Wait for that to go back up. Wait for that to go back up. There we go. Who knew clouds were so springy? Whoa! Saved by the cloud. Speaking of clouds, yesterday I played the uh, US demo for Final Fantasy Dissidia. The Final Fantasy... F Ugh. That's why I shouldn't, like, blab on and I should focus on the game. But yeah, Final Fantasy Dissidia, the uh, Final Fantasy fighting game with all the characters and the, the heroes and villains from Final Fantasy 1 through 10. The game seems pretty cool. It, I found it was easy and very unbalanced, but a lot of fun, and I'm looking very much looking forward to the final game. And yes, in the demo, Cloud is playable. Well, of course he would be. In fact, the only villain playable is Sephiroth. You have... Who are the characters? The Onion Kid, or Onion Knight, rather, from 3. Cecil from 4. Terra from 6. And Cloud and Sephiroth from 7. You fight other characters that aren't available or playable, but... Whoa! It's you. Yeah, this guy's challenging, because you cannot hit his back or his top, because he is sharp. Uh, I hope I beat him quickly. I'm running out of time. 
If I have to, I'll fast forward those failure bits. Ah, dude. Yeah. Oh, that was just dumb. This might be a failure bit that I fast forward as well. Okay, maybe not. Well, I guess I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Have a good day.